I started boxing when I was 12, but I had to do my training in secret because my parents hated the sport. They thought that it was too rough. Instead, they wanted me to play football. But in my heart, boxing was all that I wanted to do. I used to box after school, and I managed to train regularly throughout my teenage years without my parents finding out. If they had discovered my secret, they would have stopped paying my school fees. This is the story of Ugandan boxer Bashir Ramatan. After fighting as an amateur throughout his teenage years, Bashir's involvement in the sport ended when he got a job working as a builder. However, in 1996, when Bashir was 24 years old, his life changed dramatically. I had this headache for almost a year. I tried treating it, but nothing helped. The pain started in my right eye and then gradually spread to my left. I was going to visit my grandma and I collapsed. I had to be helped to a house and when I got there, I was in so much pain. My grandma looked at me and then she started to scream and cry because she could see that my eyes were open, but I couldn't see anything. She started screaming, saying I'd gone blind. And as soon as she said that, I jumped up to try and prove her wrong. But I stumbled around and couldn't see anything. I bumped into the walls and the bed. And that was when I knew that I would never see again. An unknown disease had caused Bashir to permanently lose his sight. Unsurprisingly, Bashir spiralled into depression. With a young family to support and no welfare system to help, he turned to the only other thing he knew, boxing. I had nothing. I couldn't work and I had to find a way to do something with my life for my children. All I could think of was boxing, a sport that was always my dream and that for so long I was told not to do. It was the only thing I could think of that could help me. Boxing in Uganda was very popular when I was young and I'd spent so long studying fighters and training that I felt I understood the sport. I had my children to look after and boxing was my only choice. Even though I knew it would be hard, I wanted to become a successful blind boxer. Bashir began training with the aim of fighting professionally against other blind fighters. He joined forces with trainer Hassan Khalil from the famed East Coast Boxing Gym in Naguru, a stable that has produced many of the country's top fighters. He has always been very interested in boxing, and his basic skills are very good. I remember him from before he lost his sight, when he used to come and watch our champions sparring. I think that he's a natural athlete, and I knew straight away that there was potential, that we could get him fighting against other blind fighters. He already knew how to throw punches and had a vision in his mind of what he needed to do. Today, Bashir is well known throughout Uganda. He's known simply as the blind boxer. He fights in small events in Kampala, mostly against boxers who are blindfolded. Bashir has won the majority of his bouts, and his success has seen his popularity grow throughout his homeland. His efforts in the ring have made him a role model for the estimated 500,000 people in Uganda who are also blind. I'm very well known in the Ugandan blind community. I want to play a big part in helping to highlight the problems that blind people are facing. People say that I am leading the way letting other blind people know that they can do anything. I may just be fighting in low-key fights, but they are very symbolic. I want to be a blind boxer on the international stage so that I can promote the sport and in turn help the blind community of Uganda. I sometimes go to events and they announce me as the internationally famous blind boxer, which really makes me proud and happy. Despite his public profile, Bashir lives in poverty. He has five children and relies heavily on the help of his family to complete everyday chores. 
A devout Muslim, Bashir receives some money every few months from a Kampala mosque. With the help of his children, he tries to stay as active as possible whenever he's not training or fighting. He insists on going to the market close to his home by himself whenever his family need food. It's very important that I set a good example to my children. I want them to have a good work ethic. I also want to stay active as a blind boxer so that I earn money to help them with their education. I was never very good at school and I want them to make me proud by being intelligent, bright children who go on to do well and have good careers. The biggest problem facing Bashir as he attempts to make a consistent living from the sport is a lack of opponents. He has heard of other blind fighters in Tanzania, Sweden and Denmark, but with no way to make the fights happen, he continues training in the hope that one day he'll be contacted by a promoter and asked to fight them. As a blind boxer, I picture what it was like when I used to fight, and I rely on my hearing and my other senses. I'm trying to master the art of fighting without seeing, and that takes a lot of work. I also rely heavily on my coaches, who can shout out advice when I'm in the ring. They can tell me where my opponent is, and tell me to jab or left hook, and when to do it. So, when I'm fighting, it really is a team effort. Bashir's lack of regular fights means that he's left to spar with those boxers from his gym who are brave enough to put on a blindfold. Most of them are afraid. They fear me. For them, it's difficult. It's completely alien to them. Sometimes I want to spar and no one will fight me. They say the thought of being hit by surprise is too much for them. And I remember what that feels like. But I've learned how to get over that and to fight without fear. I think in a way they're right, because being blindfolded and put in against me is not a good thing. They feel a lot of pain if I hit them. Now 39, Bashir is still chasing his boxing dream. He's hopeful that one day the sport will have better rules and regulations, which will include each opponent wearing a bell. If that happens, then Bashir Ramatan would like to be at the forefront of the sport that's helped to get his life back on track. My dream is to be known around the world. I want to fight in another country and make Uganda proud. I want to be a fighter who puts out a message of hope to blind people all over the world. If I can do something like boxing, something so difficult and dangerous, then others can also push themselves too in life.